back to the channel. We're at Eagle Ranch Disc Golf Course up in North Fort Worth. Little nine hole. I believe it is designed by John Hauk. Yep, there it is. So you know it's a good course. Here's a look at the course. We are the looking basket. over the practice basket at the course. Shout out to Premier Flooring for supporting this in some way. I don't know. We're getting their advertising. So yeah, nine holes, par 28. Just over 2,100 feet. Starting with hole one, definitely the longest hole on the course. Par four, just short of 500 feet. Couple of uh, well placed trees that kind of mess up. Big hyzer, the big turnover. Trying to turn over here with a jackalope. First throw out of the car. Flirt with that tree a little too much, but we're going to do a little two on one today because why not? Up next is a second run Sublime Freetail. Never thrown this one before. Wasn't really sure. Tried to hyzer flip it. Never even really got to flat. It's a little more stable, but that's a good thing. Free tails are pretty flippy, so I'm stoked to have a semi stable one. I'm on this side hill, looking back down towards the basket. Jawbreaker zone. See how the forehand is doing, fresh out of the car. Not great. Not bad, but not great. Luckily, it's a par four, though, so looks like we're playing on this one for par. Found myself a little outside the circle. Got well mowed grass today while I'm here. Dry, hard ground, so the grass is all freshly mowed. I could definitely see this place getting really muddy though and being hard to mow. Because I did see that on some of the reviews. I guess you'll just have to check for current conditions and current reviews, but today I would say it was pretty ideal. It's been a while since it's rained, so the creek was barely trickling. So much for par. Bag on tap in for five. Hooray. Double eagle liquor. So yeah, starting with a five on hole one, but it's alright, playing it blind. No warm-ups. Just out here to check out the course and have some fun. Hole two, par three, 221 feet uphill. A little bit. Um, those trees on the right kind of block the spike hyzer angle. But you'd expect nothing less out of John Hauk using the terrain really, really well. A little high up the hill, but not too bad downhill putt. So yeah, you've got a couple of obstacles on the green here. Can make things a little tricky. Luckily, I didn't go down the hill too far. I'll take it. Yeah, I can see that thorn bush just to the right of the basket being a problem. Got out of there with a disappointing par. On to hole three, par three, 277 feet. Very similar shot to the last one, just a little longer with that big guardian tree blocking the hyzer again. So you either need to swing around it 
or swing like a turnover in or a forehand or something. Didn't get the turn I wanted on that. Very, very short. Trying to pull it together here, going Razor Claw 2. Just trying to swing something just underneath those branches on that tree. Overthrew it quite a bit. Um, something I've noticed with the Razor Claw 2s is they push forward quite a bit for an overstable disc. Um, oh, camera down. Troubles of going to my new tripod setup. Headwind putt. Overturned it. Another disappointing hole. Let's see if we can pull it together. On the next one, shortest hole on the course. 144 feet, almost entirely over water. And there's this little tree bush thing right in the way. So when everything's full and green, I'm sure this is an interesting hole, but I just decided thumber right over the top. All right, so I'm about halfway done with the shorts. Just through the pond hole. Deceptively tricky hole. It's so short you could almost jump putt it. Or at least I can almost jump putt it. I'm sure a lot of people can jump putt it. Um, almost through lefty, but... Anyways, fun course so far. I'm excited to play the longs. Because I'll know some of these easy, like, must-get holes better. Messed up a couple of them. But that's alright. This is a cool little course. I am a fan. Yeah, overthrew it just a little bit. Hit the band, still made the putt. Feels good to get a birdie finally on this little course. Hole 5, par 3, 258 feet. Kind of blind if you right. there. back up and stand on the sidewalk. You can kind of see it. A couple little baby trees for now until they get bigger in the way. Mustang flipped right between them and started fading towards the basket. That was so close. I'm really excited to see where it is. And there it is. So not too bad. Overthrew it just a little bit. Should have figured there'd be some sort of danger past the basket on this one. But not too bad. I probably landed short and scooted to there. Didn't quite get my legs into this. And it's still rolling. Yeah, it rolled about 100 feet. Instead of having a, another putt, I legitimately have a full-on upshot back at the basket. So never a bad idea to scout out the basket on new holes that you haven't played before, because I would have played it a little differently knowing there was this much danger here. So my ace run turned into a bogey. Super bummer, but that's all right. Hole six, par three, 162 feet. Going back up the hill towards the houses. Going with the bobcat here. Kind of beat in first run one. Took it a little inside, but had a putt. Had a little bit of a gallery there. Nice neighbor started chit chatting with me about the course. Told me where the bad shots normally go. 
Uh, got out of there with a three. Trying to bounce back. So we got hole seven, par three, turn 13 feet. Going back towards the edge of the pond. I'm going with my eternal bullet here. Little backhand turnover ace run. And I got some late turn that I didn't want. Luckily it got caught by that bush instead of not too shabby. splashing down into the pond. That ace run was not smart. I saw this peninsula out here. Thought I had all this ground to work with swinging it in. Luckily that bush gobbled me up because I did not realize there's an in cut. It would have been bad. Alright, another birdie. Things are starting to come back together again. On to hole 8, par 3, 168 feet. Same bullet. Going with that bullet again. Going for the straight at it gap. Making sure to keep it low since there is a low ceiling. Got some like little ninja branches. Damn, I just drilled that tree. So unfortunate. Now that tree is right between me and the basket. This was my plan. Little forehand zone. Too much of an angle there, so forehand bullet maybe. Nope. I'm gonna go backhand turnover bullet. And I forget to keep it low. Probably the most annoying little hole under 200 feet I've ever played, because I'm about to get a 4 on it. Uh, hole 9, par 3, 184 feet. Plan from this little flooded area. Basket is just behind that gap on the left. And I just have a terrible throw, but luckily... Kind of kicked back out to the fairway. I have a nice hyzer into the green, so I'm going to go with my four time zone. It's on a smooth hyzer angle, pretty routine. And I have another bad throw. So I'm not going to make you watch the rest of this hole. I had to pitch back out and then pitch up. And then make my putt. 4-5. I took a double bogey on a hole under 200 feet. Pretty rough, but uh, I enjoyed my time here. So that's Eagle Ranch Disc Golf Course. A short layout. Standing here on long one. I'm going to play that next, so look out for that video. Um, fun course. Super fun course. A couple of musket birdies. A couple of holes that are easy to mess up on, a couple of water hazards that sneak in there. So super fun course, worth driving out. Worth driving out and checking it out if you're in the DFW area and just want something different for sure. See you out there. So that's Eagle Ranch Disc Golf Course from the Shorts. Stay tuned for the video featuring the three different long holes. Um, thanks for watching and hope to see you out there.